Hey guys, we are at the test lab today, at the house. Basically, we're at the house, all right? Test lab house, that's, that's where we get things done. We're actually working on a project. First of all, thank you for stopping by and checking out the video today. It is greatly appreciated. If you're new to the channel and you're checking this out, I really hope this video helps you in your DIY project going forward for whatever situation you may be working on it for. So welcome, God bless you, and thank you for tuning in and checking out the channel. I really appreciate it, and before you do leave, just consider subscribing, just to help a long tall Texan out and just be friendly, reach out in the comments and let me know what you're working on this application for. Okay, moving on. We are here and I am working on a, I have one of these Femco 15 gallon sprayers. It's been awesome, really enjoyed it. We did not want to break ground on our food plots last year because the dirt was just terrible. So we went the, basically the no-till, we did a spray and it actually worked out great. It worked out just as good, at least, as a traditional tilling and applying and things like that but that's for another video but for this purpose i really enjoyed using this tanker but one thing we didn't enjoy is riding in the back of the four-wheeler or the, the old honda big red and uh hand spraying this thing with a single wand that is a no bueno project that i want to go through again riding in the back of the in the heat sitting on a stool just bouncing around killing it butt was sore for a week we ain't doing that again so working on a project today to build our own spray boom about a five or six foot. We didn't really know what it was gonna be. Hey, there's a truck over there. We didn't really know what it was gonna end up being, but uh, just wanted to share this project with you guys sitting here working on it. I'm like, man, I should be sharing this with you guys because, man, things are getting expensive. You may not wanna run the diesel this year. You may wanna go the spray route. Um, you know, well, I don't like to spray every year, but uh, it's it's certainly, you know, if you got a remote location, it can be a great application. So we are into this spray boom for about 45 bucks and we're looking at, you know, traditional booms, uh, get up to about 150 bucks. So hopefully this can help us out. And I don't know why I'm still sitting here talking. Let's get down here and look at this thing. And I will show you how this thing, how we put this thing together and how it works. So let's go. So here is an overview look of our DIY spray boom. And I dis disassembled one of the nozzles so we can go over that in detail. So here is our 15 gallon sprayer. We've got our tank hose connection coming down. We've got our battery. We're all hooked up. We've got our remote control. We've got our pump on the back side of the tank. Applying us some supply. Got a couple gallons in there so we can really look at this thing. So this is almost five foot long. It's about an inch and a half shy because these are 18 inch PVC nipples that you see these gray lengths of pipe. So these are basically 18 inch nipples that we purchased to complete this project. The T's that you see in here are half inch all threaded T's to receive from all ends. So we picked all those up. You'll see three of those. And then we have a Rainbird 90 elbow on the end. So we've got this thing mounted on an extra piece of aluminum angle plate that we had just laying around. And we've got some couple of EMT uh, conduit secure straps holding this thing down. We just had those laying around too. So let's zoom in here, get down here and talk about really each one of these nozzles and what it takes to assemble this thing. And then we'll talk about some of the pricing. So what we will do here is we will work our way back from this half inch uh, schedule 80 PVC is what we use for the main manifold. We've got these half inch T's all threaded on each side so they can all receive. And right here up front, we have a half inch PVC barbed male insert. So it's a male insert and then it can also receive a half inch hose on this side. So then what we did was we got a length of half inch reinforced braided vinyl hose, super cheap, about 10 foot. Uh, it was about 10 bucks, I think. Like I said, overall, we're in this project for about $45, I think, maybe less. I'm kind of overestimating, just so somebody can't say later, come back later and say, hey man, you cost me 50, 65 bucks once I put all this thing together, right? So the way this works in general is we've got the half inch on the manifold right there. And then what we've got is we've got a half inch brass male to male hose barb. And what we did is this hose barb didn't, it wasn't quite, big enough to kind of receive that. So what we did is we did get some 3 8 inch vinyl clear flex hose and that thing just slid over the top of there. And what that did is so we don't have to strap any of this down um, just with some screw tight straps, clamps. And we actually put that, you probably don't even have to do that, but we just wanted the extra tightness and that's kind of the way we went. So we put that 3 8 inch clear vinyl flex hose over this, cut it off 
and we stick it up in the middle of the half inch, right? So then we've got a half inch adjustable garden spray nozzle. You can get these from like Rainbird, you can get them from Lowe's, they're like 98 cents a piece. The, these, all of these pieces, they're only like two or three dollars a piece. The tees are about three dollars a piece. The nipple all together, you can buy the, well, all the nipples. I think they were about, um, what was it, three or four dollars a piece. I think that's going to be where your biggest cost comes in. And then, like I said, out there on the end, this is where we've got the half inch barbed elbow. So this is just more of like the cap. We got a nozzle on the end of the manifold. And then our 3 8 inch piece basically shoves up in there so tight you can't hardly put too many forever to get this thing off. So that is an overview of the entire manifold. Like I said, then we strap this thing down. We've got our, we've, oh, I really kind of forgot about this piece. This is just a half inch mail to mail, same thing, flex, uh, screws into, into the T. And we do have a clamp, I believe it is right there, to hold that hose on. And I can't find the other one. But we're going to do a little spray test and see what kind of coverage we get, like across this manifold being right at just shy of five foot. And uh, most of these are just shy of 20 inches. They're about 19 and a half inches spaced out. So we're gonna crank this thing up and we're gonna drop some measuring tape and see what kind of spray we get. It's a little windy, but we're gonna go for it and see what we get. All right, we are ready to try this thing out. I have not experimented with this yet. So I've got this uh, secured with a towel and we've got six foot of measurement right here. Got the tape measure out. Stretch it out to six foot, see what kind of boom coverage we get. This hose is probably gonna pop off after a couple of minutes, but hopefully we get a decent enough coverage. So we're gonna walk over here. We're all hooked up on our cables. Tracked up on the old switch. And... There she goes. Again, we got six foot, so we're, uh, we're doing pretty good outside that six foot, maybe about three or four inches there. Definitely shading outside there. The wind's kind of whipping around here a little bit, mostly kind of whip coming in and pushing that way. But that's a six foot spray. And so we're definitely getting about six and a half Maybe six foot eight. Whoa, there we go. Failure. Failure. Time out. Time out. Time out. All right, we've got our issue fixed. We had a little loss of primary containment there, but I did pull out the tape measure and took it out to seven feet, and it got a little bit of a drain off there, but we were getting right at pretty decent seven feet of coverage off of a five foot boom. And these are adjustable spray nozzles, of course, and I do have them pushed probably pretty close to being all the way in. Um, as far as adjustability goes, but you can work with it. If you want to tighten it up. Now I know what you're probably thinking. You're probably thinking, uh, uh, Seth, how are you going to attach that to the back of a four wheeler or a side by side? Don't worry about that, man. One step at a time. You know, once we get out there, we'll figure it out. But I really, I think that's where this, that aluminum angle is going to come in there. We've already pre-drilled some holes before we, we could tie strap that thing, wire it up, bolt it up somehow to the hitch or to the back of the tailgate somehow we will figure it out don't you worry about that we're gonna get it figured out that's how things work and we'll do it out there once we get there so ultimately i think this was a super awesome build super excited to use it like i said about 45 bucks if you got some extra parts laying around some extra pvc you're already ahead of the game too so which we did i had to do a little research to see what this really would have cost because we had some old rainbird irrigation stuff left over had a couple of tees and uh kind of went from there right had that had the angle but you could build that out of you know just a couple of scrap pieces of wood as far as a you know a mounting plate manifold so other than that i am stoked about what this is going to do and i'm excited about getting out and doing some food plotting i'm going to link all the details of the description in the description to all these parts probably not all from the same location because these days can't really count on that. You can probably get most of this from Lowe's, so I wouldn't sweat it too much, but we'll link all that down below. And thank you guys so much for stopping by and saying hi, checking out the channel, having a blast. Had to wait for this sun to go down today before I come out here and talk to you guys, because it's about 183 and a half degrees out here. 
in Texas, and uh, you, you know, you just, you just ain't you just ain't gonna make it far. I'll probably be laid out. I'll probably be laying under this mister, uh, you know, like like the like the waiting lines at Schlitterbahn or something. <laughs> Thank you guys for stopping by and saying hi. Hope you have a blessed day. Thanks for checking out the channel. Like I said, do me a huge favor and subscribe, maybe like, and drop me a comment. Let me know what you're what you're doing out there, where you hunt, where you're from, and I can't tell you how much it is appreciated. Basically, I love you. See you guys on the next one.